One, two, three. Oh, wait, one, two, three, and we go? Yeah. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Yay! Was... Good job! Jeez, yeah, guys! This is complicated. <laughs> um... Why do they make snow like that? Why do they stop me from running? Ah! What is this? Really, why can I not run here? Why do I have to move as slow as a snail in this area? It makes me never want to go back or see it again. What is this? Okay, so in here, there's these two guys. These, they crack me up. Do as we say. We, we must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. They must have it. I just love how they say it. They say it with such enthusiasm. With such excitement. They, they say it like they're... They're really thinking they need this. Like, this honey is going to make all the difference in the world. It's going to attract Pokemon in great numbers. We must have this, this honey. We must have it. I mean, we absolutely must have this honey to attract Pokemon in great numbers. I hope someone finds that line as funny as I do. They wanted to... They wanted to get your sweet honey so they could attract Pokemon in great numbers. I must have some more honey. I need to attract Pokemon in great numbers. I must have it. Dude, you're really kind of creeping me out. I hate this guy. Avoid fighting this guy at all costs if you can, because he will just really irritate you. Six Pokemon. Can you guess what they are? Take a guess. Hey, the first one. It's a Magikarp. Level 10. What's this? Another Magikarp? He wants to send out another Magikarp against me? No. 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 There, there's no way that entire team could be of Magikarp. I could use a Weedle and kill this entire team. Just with Poison Sting. Oh god, another Magikarp! Oh my goodness, look at all those Magikarps. I can't take it anymore. Thank you! A Goldeen! Something that's actually rewarding to fight! One thing that's really annoying about Stunky here... Stunky... Stunky... Is... If you try to knock it out, you're gonna live to regret it. Oh great, another Stunky. Stunky... Stunky... Hey look, a Pikachu! Yeah right! More like a trainer. Oh, it's a Pikachu. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is this nonsense? No real threat to you, they're just gonna be a Bidoof. Swarm of Bidoof. What the Bidoof? That Bidoof up in there. Bidoof, 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 and Bidoof, 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 Bidoof. Favorite Pokemon. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, little girl. Are the daycare or is the daycare lady taking care of your Pokemon? Hey, what's Lucario doing to Gardevoir? Uh, I'm surprised that they could put something like that in a Pokemon game. You, I don't want to think about it. Why was Gojira holding a peculiar spoon? <laughs> a winner is you. A winner is you. I love this! They're using internet references, it's so great! Dawn will be there, waiting for you like a stalker. You'll find Dawn there, she's just kinda lurking about, stalking you like always. Dawn will be outside, stalking you like always. Someone's lurking in here. Uh, Dawn's father will be there, in the lurking crowd. Yeah, hunt him down like a dog. Well, at least we know where 
Don's stalker this comes from. It's your other stalker, Cynthia. Alright, get out of here. T -t -t time warp! Ooh, a cover! That's such an awesome move. Alright, in this building is the, the Great Marsh game, the Castoria's Safari game, or whatever the heck it's called now. Why can't they just call it the Safari Zone? Do you know why? Because I don't like it! Ooh, Aqua Jet. That makes it so it goes first. Hey, that there! That was a good move! That's just how I roll. That's just how you roll. But I'll take it down with side beam, rather than hidden power, because that's just how I roll. Still want to use side beam, because that's just how I roll. Wingle. Now, okay, this I'm going to use uh, hidden power against, because that's just how I roll. Yeah, the wave didn't even wash your hands, because that's just how I roll. Barboach, because that's just how I roll. Ooh, we can roll in here completely unopposed. That's just how we roll, right? Just bowled over. Bowling for Barboach. Barboach. He's not just wake, he's crash awake. Galactic goon lurking right outside of the uh, Safari game. He's got his package. So then Barry shows up, your rival, and he's all like, Hey, I want to battle you. So I'm like, okay, fine, let's bring it. I want more! I want to battle a lot more. Good old Barry. Good old Barry. I'll talk. You'll learn one of these days. You'll learn one of these days. Dr. Footsteps House. You talk to him, and he reads the footsteps of your Pokemon or footprints or something. Pibero. What are you here for? Rock Smash. Exactly. I mean, this is serious business. Now, serious business. I finally... Pay attention. Oh, yep, 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 it's him. It's him. I found him. Yep, that's him. That's definitely the guy who ran from me. You thought you could outsmart me by looking like a fisherman or something? Talking to yourself? Hey, only I can talk to myself. That's just how I roll. Because I'm definitely a little kid. For a change, she isn't stalking me. You can just go right up to her and talk to her. See, they were blocking her path up till now, because... They have headaches inside us like to just stand around and block paths. It's a great way to prevent a player from going somewhere in the game. Give Psyduck's headaches, and then, you know, wait until later before you have the thing to get them out of the way. It's consistent as gravity. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. Hey, it's a galactic dude. Let's take on this dude with a galactic bomb, because that seems like the right thing to do, am I right? What's that in his hand? A galactic bomb! It's a Pokeball. Don't worry. We set off the galactic bomb! Kaboom! Krogunk. Krogunk? Krogunk? Ooh, you trying to confuse me? What you doing, son? What you doing? Froggy McFrogenstein. So this kid just worked over this dude with a bomb. This is boring. Uh... Tell me when I can wake up. Oh my goodness, who's this guy? Hey, that's that... Oh, Cyrus, you're the guy I saw on the... The mountain. Yeah, Mount Coronet. That's right. What's he doing here? Yeah, he looks familiar. I think I pushed him off the cycling road. Yeah. Oh, am I correct? I'm correct. I'm a genius in math. I'm a genius. And just in case, you know, you're wondering about math, it would be... 332 experience points. Okay, well, I was off by a little bit. 309. But you don't have to be a genius to figure this out. And I'm not really a genius in that. So you can, you can levitate up like a magician. Why do you have to be an evasion noob, huh? You don't know what it's like to be a noob like me, buddy. That's not good. That's really not good. You can't touch me, don't you know? My defenses are through the roof. They are more powerful than you. More like a Scarados. Those Team Galactic, they're such thugs. Why would they do that to poor innocent Pokemon? What's a big, burly roughneck doing with a little Cleffa anyway? What's that all about? A brick break to the beak. 
Break, break to the beak. Break, break to the beak. Ah! Gosh darn it. My Pokemon are weak and they need some training right now. Where am I to go? Well, you gotta go here. You gotta go here at some point in the game. Maryland's finally evolving! Yes, that's right, folks. I'm evolving. Now I'm no longer a Monferno, but an Infernape. These galactic thugs waiting in the back trying to take all the Pokemon from the island. What thugs? Jeez, of all the nerve! You did nothing! Haha! <laughs> Jeez. Oh look, it's another Onyx. Okay, I'm gonna give you the exact same advice I gave you for the last three Onyxes, or however many you've had to fight. Give it a swift brick break. Brick break to the beak! Brick break to the beak! Ah! Oh hey, it's another Onyx! Great! Gee, I haven't had a gym this fun since, like, the, uh... The fighting gym, the third one, or whatever the one was with Maylene in it, with all those Machokes and Metatites. Machop and Metatite. Best friends forever. Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. What is this thing? It's a foreign object. It looks somewhat snake-like. No, wait, identified. It's a scorpion. No, no, no. Wait, better yet, it's a Skorupi. To be a noob like me. Oh my goodness, I love their dialogue in here. You noob. That's what you get for calling me a noob. Oh, snap, wrong way. Oh yeah, one type. How about Onyxes and Steelixes? Oh my goodness. Just can't get enough of that. I bet you it's a Steelix. What? What is this? What is this? Could this really be an Azumarill? What is a water type Pokemon like Azumarill doing in a, a rock steel Onyx Steelix gym like this, huh? What? This is suddenly really cool. This made my day. Especially because I like Azumarill's. But, whoa! What a surprise! I didn't see that twist coming up from a mile away. Except for the fact that I really walked through, but... Oh my goodness. What the heck? Why is no one here? Everyone will be, like, waiting there for you. Like, the whole party. The crew. You, Rowan, Barry, and Dawn. Your stalker. Hey, old dude and kids! Old dude and kids! There was an earthquake, for goodness sakes! I'm the hero! You can't do nothing against me! Ha ha ha! You got fooled into guarding the entrance! You got fooled into guarding the entrance! And you did a really bad job! Those thugs! Ah! Not toxic! What? What is this nonsense? Jeez! What was that? Yeah, you stupid stunky! 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 Yeah, I had to beat you, you were standing in my way! Grr! Huzzah! Oh snap, it's Bubble Bean! Oh, come on, what was this? Huh! <laughs> on the west side! God! Oh, jeez, you cheap! You cannot harm me! Annoying! Jeez! What? Uh-oh! Ah, big kitty. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, what? Critical hit. Oh, zap. Oh man, darn it, girl. Oh man, this is it. Oh come on. Oh, I'm just sick of it. 